We got a uh, another giant story. Well, uh, uh, one of big a uh, big people. Big people. We had <laughs> they a little call them big people. We had a little uh, person story earlier. Now we Fidget. got a now we got a big person story. And if you're a faithful listener of this show, we can't get enough of these these giants. They hit the news every once in a while. Stupid pituitary gland. What sucks though, you have to go to other countries because in this country, you, you pretty much can't be eight foot tall anymore. No, there's one or two floating around, but well, older ones. But they but, they check for all that but stuff. They, now. they figured it out. It has something to do what uh, with the pituitary the pituitary gland, pituitary gland, and they could like shut down the the juice that is shooting out to make you just a giant. Yeah, they give them some kind of uh, drugs. But in other countries where you know the healthcare isn't as good, you where still get stupid. the freaks. You still get the freaks, which I love. Where they're poor and stupid. Was this one from Ukraine? Very nice. Yeah, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere over there. Listen to this guy. Listen closely. <laughs> the world's tallest man lives in one of Ukraine's impoverished villages. At eight feet, five inches tall, Leonid Stadnik is starting to pick up a few perks, though. All right, success. <laughs> Just anytime I think of one of these impoverished uh, former Soviet... Uh, countries mm. just think of borat of course <laughs> great success <laughs> the jew <laughs> it's stadnik is starting to pick up a few perks though the largest bike in the world a special engineered <laughs> exercise <laughs> machine and clothes from all over the world <laughs> why would you exercise <laughs> what good is it How, you like, know who's you gonna know. notice that you trim down a little bit you're you're nine foot eight and it can't be for health reasons because those guys don't usually live very long anyway no and he's got the world's largest bike. What does that look like? Uh, I bet that's a, <laughs> wow. treat to, wow. a treat to ride around on. I bet no one looks at that and just goes, oh, my God, what a freak. They're like, uh, just trying to be a normal guy. <laughs> right. Just trying to uh, be a normal guy. Or get a bike. I got my first bike when I was eight years old. It was um, 12 feet tall. <laughs> it was a little big for an eight-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> got truck tires as wheels. <laughs> yeah, just, just even... some obnoxious looking thing. <laughs> just so you can fit in. Yeah. Join this circus and get it over with. <laughs> Stop trying to fit in. For Christmas, he got a couple of canoes and he thought they were shoes and he put them on. <laughs> <laughs> Walk around with canoe feet on my. I have to put canoes on there because I can't afford uh, shoes that big. They don't make them in my country. Why don't I speak with an accent? <laughs> we don't need the accent. Of course not. We we just love the fact that that's how they talk. Just their their dopey, Anthony. deep voice yeah. resonating in his huge, freakish body. <laughs> it hurts to talk because oh. whatever that's doing to his insides, just, just to try to communicate. Leonid Stadnik is starting to pick up a few perks, though. The largest bike in the world, a special engineered exercise machine, and clothes from all over the world. Stadnik says the perks don't make up for the pain. The doorways of his home are too short, forcing him to crouch down when he walks through the house. His 440-pound frame causes constant knee pain, forcing him to occasionally use crutches. And doctors say he's probably still growing. The 37-year-old former veterinarian quit his job after developing frostbite while walking to work. He couldn't afford to buy custom-made shoes for his 17-inch feet, so he walked in socks. <laughs> Stadnik says the outpouring of international support has kept his spirits up. Media attention brought online friendships from all over the world, and Ukraine's president offered him a supersized car to help him get around better. Stadnik says he now dreams of finding a soulmate. Oh, good luck I'll keep to you. dreaming. Good keep dreaming luck. on that one. But he loves the WNBA. <laughs> nice seven foot midget he can get his hands on. <laughs> this guy is not only tall, he's really stupid. Why would you yeah. walk to work in your socks? You can figure out something else to put on those those yeah. those freakish feet. Ooh. A couple of dead cats. <laughs> Cut open their bellies and wear dead cat shoes. <laughs> uh, poor bastard. Big dope. I wrote him a letter, too. I felt bad for him. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you say, Jimmy? Shoot yourself. <laughs> I'm trying to find a soulmate, but I have no soul. God hates me. God, God didn't give me a soul. God was hung over that day. Just let... Let me keep on growing. There is no God. <laughs> there is no God. Liddy Rules from Whackbag writes, uh, his bike has two of those old-timey bicycle tires. 
You know the big, uh, the big. Oh wheel, yes, the one big wheel and the one little one. Yeah, who thought our, of that? Our ancestors couldn't figure anything out. How about two wheels the same size, yeah. dummies. Yeah, <laughs> how long did that take? <laughs> I like the fact the French president gave him a new car, but the thing is, it's a special car and it runs on ten thousand dollar gallon gas. <laughs> how great would that be? You farm yourself out to the circus, you zilch. <laughs> His head sticking out the sunroof. His whole life should just be a children's party. He's being pointed at. <laughs> Balloons <laughs> tied to his face. <laughs> Balloon on each ear, looking stupid. <laughs> be the clown giant man that we like. Oh, Dito, Dito. <laughs> uh, Janine writes, uh, maybe they mean soulmate. Uh, mm. His dream is a pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, soul? Oh, soul. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, very nice, Janine. <laughs> Let's say hi to Chris on Long Island. Chris, what's up? Good morning, ladies. Listen, the guy can't afford shoes, but he has online friendships. What, he got a cable modem in the house? Oh, hey, look at that, mm -hmm. yeah. Looks like someone's got their priorities all messed up. <laughs> and who would allow him to walk to work in just socks? Just socks. He's probably got HBO and pay-per-views and everything else, but... Watch out. Thank you, sir. Let's go. I think you know, like, that the heart can't even pump the blood down to his feet to keep him warm. Right. Probably got frostbite in, like, 60-degree weather. <laughs> I thought he uh, got frostbite on the top of his head because, like, as he walked, he was going through the clouds. Oh, right, because the high altitude. Yeah, no. <laughs> Boy, that's an exaggeration joke, kids. We love exaggeration <laughs> He'd jokes. have to be really tall for the weather to be different where his head is. <laughs> See how tall he is? You get it? <laughs> Mongo. Hey, Jimmy, you killed in Minneapolis. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Hey, oh, yeah, uh, good meeting you. Yeah, thank you. Was it? Was yeah, I actually remember. It's funny. I meet some of the listeners, and uh, I'm like, oh, yeah, you're the guy that uh, that calls in all the time. They don't think I'm going to recognize them, but I normally <laughs> the guy that calls in all the time. But, I mean, yes. I, like, Mongo, I know that name. Oh, of course you do. Why are you shaking your head? No. <laughs> not, not too many people try to kill E-Rock. Um... You, this guy was a veterinarian. How many uh, animals do you think he just accidentally snapped their necks? <laughs> yeah, he's just trying to do the right thing, and Oops. he's breaking animals in half. With his big, <laughs> bumbling, huge hands. <laughs> and he means well, but yeah. it's just a pile of animals in the back that okay. are broken in half. Uh, we're going to need you to take the collar off of this kitten. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. There goes another one. Three more, and I can make a shoe. His favorite animal to work on with birds, just because they're at eye level with him. <laughs> that stupid head in a tree, <laughs> working on a bird's nest. Let's say hi to Sean in North Carolina. Sean. Morning, boys. Hey. Uh, giving this freak a hard time about not having shoes walking to work, but really, two steps and he's there. That's right. Uh, right. More of that exaggerated humor that we love on this radio show. See, he's so tall that his gait would be quite large. If you want to send him shoes, they should send him, like, regular shoes, just the fronts cut out of them. <laughs> yeah. With his big dopey toes sticking out of the front. Like Hulk. <laughs> Let's go to Brian in Montana. Brian. Yeah, they, they ought to get this guy into porn. He's probably got a cock like a baseball bat. <laughs> well, 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 good morning to you, Thank Brian. you for that. <laughs> good morning. This uh, this got uh, the phones lit though. I'll tell you that much. Uh, Charlie, Long Island, what's up? Hey, Anthony, how much are you cutting the check out for this month? <laughs> I'm not going to send this guy any money. You feel sorry for this guy? I only feel sorry for Americans. Oh, really? I, that's the only people I'm very no, charitable with. No, that's not true. It's not true. No, you feel sorry for you think white Americans? <laughs> well, wait a minute. There's a lot of black charity cases out there. I know a lot of uh, black people give to black charities. Mm -hmm. Of course, the uh, United Negro College Fund. Uh, is there another one? <laughs> I don't know. Stephen S. from Bayshore. He's still the, the king of the instant feedbackers. Yes. Not to steal from Howard. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's kind of like that. But Stephen S. from Bayshore writes, his specialty was giraffe dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> open. Open wide. <laughs> <Giraffe>. Open. <laughs> open wide. Okay, spit. Giraffe <laughs> and <laughs> Just, uh, well, Very nice. He goes to open the giraffe's mouth, and the giraffe just knows there's something wrong with this, and the giraffe kind of recoils like... Rrr. He shouldn't be up there. Yeah, like, why are you looking me in the eyes? <laughs> 
stupid <laughs> giraffe gums breath. <laughs> if it smells like leaves, berries. How punchable are giraffe necks? I've never, I've never met a giraffe, but I'm obsessed with strangling one. <laughs> well, where do you strangle? It, yeah, it, up it by the head matter. or down by the body. I guess wherever your hands can get around. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to clothesline one. <laughs> that would be funny. Just watch his neck bend like one of those long balloons. <laughs> How are giraffes just not attacked? Like, how do like, every other animal just not go for the throat? Right. It's all Defenseless. throat. It's all yeah. hooves. Something <laughs> happened in nature that they were able to survive yeah. all these years. Because they could get to the leaves up at the top of the trees that yeah, the other like, animals can't get to. You could get to the neck, like you were saying. I don't know. Lions don't really take down giraffes. You never see like a predator jumping on a giraffe's back. I bet they're too, like, uh, they, they probably, their hooves are probably very strong. Yeah. And they probably fight like they, they, Kick. Like, they just trample panic like those animals like just go like all right, trample panic, trample panic. <laughs> they just they just kinda jump up and down on you. They just <laughs> trample panic, trample panic. <laughs> they, they just fall apart at the seat. <laughs> step Love on that. you and First, there's They're one panicky Pete. I like this one because they survive. Zebras do this all the time too. There's one in the crowd that kind of looks up and then turns and their ears go up. And then runs, and the rest of them trouble panic, trouble panic. But they like yeah, they, they, and the guys like. Did you hear any? Did you hear that? I think there's a lion. <laughs> trouble panic. But they step on their opponent, like they don't know what to do. So, like as the lion's mauling them, they're just like. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> they're, just, <laughs> they're just stepping on them with their dumb hooves. <laughs> I bet mean, giraffes have strong necks too. It's probably hard to get through. It's probably all. All like singing, a lot of muscle, muscle to hold that uh, head up there that high, I guess. It's not a big head though. No, a little yeah. peanut stupid head. head with those dumb little antennas. Yeah, what the hell those horns on their head are all about. Know, so their hats don't fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Nature put in a defense so that their fedoras don't slip off because <laughs> their hooves can't pick them up. <laughs> Once you put a hat on a giraffe's head, it either stays there forever because it falls off. He has no one to put it back. <laughs> <laughs> Fedora. Sure is. It's an unknown fact, but they love hats. <laughs> they're a, they're a hat loving animal. <laughs> Wouldn't you love to put a fedora on a giraffe? How how funny would that be to some savage just watching this giraffe walk by with a fedora on? <laughs> Has no idea what's going on. But you know how cocky he'd be because he had the hat and no one else. Did? Hey, look, a picture of a giraffe with a hat. Yeah. Where'd you get that, Iraq? Just so they could just Google giraffe hat. Of course you did. Wow. That's so they could root for their favorite baseball team. They want to wear a hat. Too. Yes. A little. Okay, hat. let's say hi Those to uh, horns. Sean in Cincinnati. Sean. Morning, boys. Good morning. Back. Hey, thanks, Sean. Mm -hmm. We were back yesterday. All, Most people didn't notice, though. All he was wanting was a pair of red shoes, bro. <laughs> Christmas shoes for the giant, bro. He got frostbite. I started crying, bro. Boo-hoo. <laughs> Christmas boats. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas canoes. You can do what you want, but don't step on my blue suede canoes. <laughs> I'd love to meet this giant and bite his big foot. Bite his big toe. Oh, sink my teeth into it. Just way back in your molars. Yeah, wow. just and just just real just, hard. Just gnaw on his big toe. <laughs> Uh, Max Dallas, what's up? Hey, what's up, man? I always thought it would be funny to string a piece of wire like they do in the war movies to a guy on a motorcycle, uh -huh. on a giraffe, and just rip their head off. Jesus, Max. Well, <laughs> you've taken this to a very cool wow. place. Yeah, we were talking about giving them hats. Yeah, and we were keeping it fun. But the way Max and I have always thought about, like, this is a recurring theme for yeah, you. Yeah, always. Every time he drives by a Toys R Us, <laughs> <laughs> it just thinks that Jeffrey the giraffe being decapitated and how hilarious it would be. <laughs> <The> piano wire. <laughs> Gotta pull over and have a laugh to Johnny Ola. Who <laughs> was the Johnny Ola, Jeffrey the giraffe? <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey the giraffe showed me. <laughs> You broke my heart, Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hi to uh, Matt in Georgia. Matt. Uh, hi. Hi, Matt. I'm, you're uh, you're seven foot four. Yes, sir. You know the funny thing is, you know my wife's only five five. So you know whenever we go to the mall or something, I get mad at her. I just gotta walk away. She gotta run behind me and shit. Looks funny uh, so. Whoa, well, let's yeah. uh, let's not curse too much. Yeah, there. you tall people oh, like I'm to sorry. curse. I'm sorry. So, uh, did you play? Did you play hoops or what? I'm sure you asked that um, all the time. I actually got kicked out of the YMCA for being too rough. Uh, so I didn't really play all that much basketball. I was really big in football, though. Football. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, so Seven yeah, four. Pretty. 
Are you gangly? Are you gangly or muscular? Um, I'm I'm actually a little portly, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, uh, how much do you weigh? Pounds. Wow. 350 pounds. He's got a shop one at that shot. store that has like one pair of pants for him, one shirt. Anyone else? Just uh, like Fred Flintstone, it's the same thing every day. Anyone else notice that this phone call is going nowhere? Well, <laughs> no like, like this fast. guy's been waiting years to be able to participate oh. in the Opie and Anthony show, and here's his big moment. No way. Hey, I'm... I'm they got a story about a tall guy, and I'm tall. I better call in. I'm going to call in and tell okay. them. Uh, I, got a, I got a great story for you. All right, okay. let's go. Okay. Um, last year, I was playing laser tag, right? And we're, we're running around <laughs> in the place. Must have looked and, stupid. Uh, no, no shit. I actually oh. ran. Hey, what did we say about yeah. the cursing there? Damn it. So you were doing some of that uh, laser tag. Laser tag. Yeah, I uh, actually ran around the corner and beat my head on a sprinkler. A water sprinkler, you know, the ones that hang from the ceiling? I we assume that, yes. For yeah, I, 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 uh, I cracked my head open on a sprinkler hanging from the ceiling. No one should have ever We heard that. that. Yeah, we heard that. Heard that story already. Let me ask you this, sir. What's the worst part about being the height you are? Uh, everybody constantly asking, how tall are you? I probably get asked that probably 40 times a day. It's really annoying. 40. All right, well, that's not that bad. I, I, know, I, know how, I know how tall I am. They know I'm taller than them, but yet they continue to ask. All right, so how about, let, let me ask you a question. Not the most annoying part. What's the worst part? Like like you know, using public bathrooms. I'm not talking about the irritating okay. questions. Uh, I can't drive anything other than a, a uh, big truck uh, because I'm huge and won't fit in a car. You should see me try to get in a Honda. Uh, and... Um, well, I got size 19 shoes, so I had to special order everything out of a catalog. And how big is uh, your, uh, you know, your yeah. thing? What do you pack them? What do you pack them? Oh, um, Just uh, give us a number. It's, it's, uh, um, it's probably, uh, I don't know, nine, nine inches. Yeah, that's good on anyone else. Nine. But on you, it's a, on you, it's a minuscule embarrassment. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you're a seven four, you got to be hoping for more than that. Yeah, it just looks silly. All right, Matt, thank you. We're gonna move on because uh, uh, Sean's got something good here. Sean in Jersey, what's up? Not much, guys. Hey, I was thinking about how he had those online relationships. Yeah. What did he got? A huge keyboard? He typing with those big, big, big stupid fingers. In it? <laughs> big mitts. <laughs> yeah, he has a custom keyboard that's just giant. Yeah, each letter is the size of a fist. <laughs> just, <laughs> just so we can type. <laughs> yeah, if he uses a regular keyboard, man, how is anyone going to decipher what he's trying to say? Yeah. Oh, look, yeah, I got an that's email that's from Fluff. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Big dumb lumox. Right. Supposed to say hi. It's just an H, a J, and an X, and a Q, and send by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Big dope. <laughs> Big, <laughs> Big angry typing guy to new level. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, guys, punch it out. Uh, very Bye. nice. <laughs> I think we've uh, come to the end of the end of the line on that uh, of the, story of the giant story yeah. and scene. And, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> oh, oh. it's very uh, rude. Yeah, that's what shock jocks do. They burp on the air and it's go, shock. Wow, that's outrageous. Shock talk. Opie and Anthony.